How's it going, my fuzzy family? My name is Panda Hub, and welcome back to another Panda Log. Um, I know that it's been a couple of days since I've posted a video. I've been very busy with work and also been dealing with a bunch of other stuff at home. I appreciate your patience. Um, now, the, the reason for this Panda Log today is um, in regards to uh, a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, I'm these these are my opinions. These again, they're opinions. They're they're not a matter of things that need to happen or things that are going to end up changing or anything like that. Um, and you know, it's it's just a matter also of whether or not people agree with them or disagree with them, that's up to you. Again, their opin opinions. Um, but the the reason for the panda log today is because uh, multiple, multiple factors, okay? Okay, one, there have been a large population of YouTubers that I've noticed uh, who are starting off small who want to end up just getting sub, 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 you know, just sub after sub after sub. And whether or not they believe that it's, you know, the sub count is going to end up causing them to somehow start gaining revenue or whether or not the sub count is, um, you know, directed towards how many views they'll get because of all those subscribers for, you know, for that one video. No. The, the way that it works is, one, sub count, uh, a subscription, a subscriber does not need to subscribe to the channel or, in a sense, they don't need to subscribe to the channel if they're not interested in the content, but also at the same factor of if if you end up commenting on someone else's content, commenting on someone else's on someone else's content, then make sure that you don't try to flood in your content or your requests for more subscribers on another person's comment. Um, I've noticed recently that whenever I comment on somebody else's uh, on somebody else's content, um, like today, I ended up commenting on someone's video, and you know I thought it was really interesting. They were they were playing um, Injustice 2, and they you know they were doing a, a really neat combat and everything else. And then this person came in and asked if there was any way that I could somehow get someone, uh, you know, get some people to notice their channel or to get, you know, people to recognize their channel. I, I can't remember. I'd have to look up the comment of what they said 100%. But to, to basically put it into a gist of things, they requested that I had the means of trying to get more people to view their content to support their channel and to get it up there. I don't mind helping and supporting other people's channel, including small ones that are just starting off, you know, when they have like 10, 15, 20 subscribers, 25, it doesn't matter. I'm willing to help, but the thing is, is that if you're really interested on trying to grow your community, grow the subscriber count, you know, then what you need to do is you need to be yourself, okay, first and foremost. You need to just be honest and true to the content that you're going to be creating, whether it be video games, uh, let's plays, or any other type of content, whether it's cosmetics or um, nails or even just goofy videos, you know, whatever, whatever your preference is. Um, so that's, that's the first thing. The second thing within this category um, of subscription count is you need to, you need to be able to interact and be genuine with your community. You need to be able to go out 
even during live streams, if you can't reach out to everybody, at least acknowledge people, ask them how their day is, ask, you know, what their type, what their favorite type of hobbies are, you know, there's just different things that you can do to try and get involved with your community, including on the other social media aspects, you know, like Jacksepticeye has a request for seeing some fan artwork from his subscribers, from his community, to see what they can create, and it's, you know, um, he has his own special hashtag, um, but I'm just using him as an example of trying to get your community involved and, and also trying to partake in spending time with your community. Um, but the thing is, too, is that you have to remember that not everybody's going to watch that content. Not everybody's going to be interested in the same type of video. There's always going to be one video that someone's going to be like, well, I heard there was crappy reviews, or I've seen this on a, another person's channel that I really like. Um, I mean, it, it all depends on how they view the content and also if they're even interested. Because you can't, you can't just, you can't just expect people to be like, okay, well, I'm new to the YouTube community. I'm you new to the 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 aspect of what is doing YouTube, which is creating content and posting it up for other viewers to watch. And there is the possibility that other people could end up being interested and if they like the content as well as the consistency or even if they like you as a person they can get you they can subscribe to your channel if they're interested and th that's the thing is that you know sub for sub I did that okay and don't get me wrong I don't have a problem with it I don't have a problem with how many subscribers I have I love the community that I have I love you guys for being a part of the community and for watching this video today, you know, and again, these these points that I'm making are opinions. These these aren't to be taken to heart. These aren't me saying, well, you guys shouldn't do this. You shouldn't expect so much from people to subscribe or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, if a person goes onto another person's channel and onto another person's content and requests that other people check out their content, then that's that's in a sense kind of showboating over someone else's act, in a sense, if, if that makes sense. Because you don't want to end up showboating over someone else's work, like basically saying, well, my stuff is either just as good or even better. I don't think that whatsoever. I think my my stuff is inadequate compared to so many other people. So many, okay? And you just have to remember that no matter how often and how much people will come and check out your content, as long as you post and you're, you're genuine and you are out there and you give your heart and your soul to the community, and you, you involve them, you ask them, even if you aren't talking with someone directly, if you're not doing a live stream, ask them how their day is. Maybe they'll leave it in the comment down below. You know, they'll leave a like on the video, they'll show their friends, they'll show their families, they'll show their dog, their cat, whatever they plan on doing to show, you know, they'll end up showing it. So, that's, that's my little rant on that. I'm going to go into subject number two. So subject number one, we're going to call it sub count. Okay. Subject number two is, um, you know, I, I wanted to go ahead and kind of put it out there for the sub talk with Panda. I, I have been reaching out to plenty of you guys to try and do a sub talk. It's just a matter of trying to find the time to be able to record maybe a game. Um, I, I did receive mention and some suggestions from uh, William Smoke about the whole idea of, okay, so, you know, maybe you should ask them this instead about your channel. And I, I, I comprehend and I understand what he's saying, and it's a genuine idea. It's a general 
focus on how you guys are as my community so I can get to know you guys and the rest of everybody else gets to know you instead of me just asking, well, what do you like about my stuff? And that's not what I wanted it to be, but at the same time as well, you know, it is kind of how I wanted to view it because I need to know a general idea of what I can do differently or if I'm doing okay in the sense that you guys actually enjoy the content. Um, but going back to what I was originally talking about, um, you know, the Sub Talk with Panda series that I am going to be picking back up here soon has very, been very delayed. It's There's so many people who are asking, um, you know, not asking if they can be a part of it, but asking, you know, who I had in mind next. Um, I do plan on doing an episode with William Smoke. He is going to be episode three, as well as uh, Shannon Gower is going to be episode four. Um, I do have Unicycle Gaming and a bunch of other people um, that I plan on doing this sub talk with Panda with. Um, so, you know, please keep an eye out for when those episodes do come out. Um, it's not going to be as consistently as I would like, just because I do have other things in my life that I'm going through. Um, but I appreciate everyone's understanding, and I appreciate all of your love and support. So going on to subject number three, though, and, you know, first off, we are almost at 430 subscribers. Seriously, my, my brain just went, holy crap, I cannot believe that we are almost at 450 subs. Like, we are almost 20 away from 450 subscribers, and I understand that I haven't had the frequency or the consistency of, as a lot of other people would like, because that's how a lot of other people can get noticed, but at the same time, I, I've been trying to plan out and, and do a thought process of how I'm going to be uploading the videos and being more interactive with you guys. Um, the live streams drain a lot of our internet. There are four adults who utilize the internet at the same time. There's multiple devices that are constantly connected to it. It's not just one sole family, and meaning Mrs. Panda and myself. So with the constant usage, it's being much more of a drain. So sadly to say, those random live streams that I've been doing just out of the blue away from the Thursday live streams are going to be cut out. I'm no longer going to be doing any random live streams. I may or may not do a live stream on a special occasion depending on this, the type of occasion. And if it is special, I will end up letting you guys know ahead of time. That way, you guys have a little bit of awareness instead of just, oh, well, Panda's sub, you know, Panda's live streaming. Let's go ahead and check out what he's playing. It was all of a sudden out of the blue. It's not a bad thing, but it would have been nice to, you know, been informed type thing. Um, and in regards to the live stream Thursdays, I'm going to be cutting it down to an hour and a half. It cuts down a lot of the data usage. It cuts back on a lot of the... The, because I notice the further and further along that I get through a live stream, I start running out of stuff to say, or I just start getting so wrapped into a game that I'm playing that I lose focus on talking with you guys. And I want you guys to be involved with the live streams. That's why I play certain games that I can constantly look over and be able to check what you guys are saying, instead of just me being like, okay. I'm watching the game and I'm just playing it. You know, and I, I don't want to be that type of YouTuber that is like, especially if the channel ends up getting up to the thousands or the hundreds of thousands or even the millions. Not to say that I have high expectations or low expectations, but at the same time, I don't, I don't 
want to hold my breath for the possibility that others are going to be interested in in my content compared to the next person you know the community that i have i love and care for a lot because they are the community that come and hang out and socialize with each other during the live streams or even when there's comments left in the chat you know and talk amongst yourselves if you guys see a comment in a video that you like and you found was funny leave a like on it or leave a comment on it involve yourself make sure that is my task for you guys involve yourself with others in the community not just oh well panda left a comment so i'm going to leave a comment back to him because it's it's the creator of the content he noticed me he recognized me you guys are going to end up getting others who are going to be coming and checking out the content and you need to be able to talk with them amongst each other you guys are a community We're, we are a fuzzy family and we need to be family members who can socialize and talk amongst each other amongst each other because of the fact that we're not just on the internet we are a community that is talking in a sense of messaging through through comments you know and I, I appreciate everybody's positive feedback. I appreciate it. I, I, I'm so cherish, you know, I cherish everything that you guys say about the content. It's great. It's great work. Keep up the hard work. Keep up the good job. All that. But you guys got to let me know if there was something that I messed up on, if the audio was shit, if the recording didn't go as smoothly as you thought it would. Or like if you ended up seeing something wrong with the recording or even if the content just was not that great you guys have to let me know you know that's the only way that I'm going to be able to know if I need to try and work on something or if my editing needs to go you know from here all the way up to here because that's the only way that I'm going to be able to build and provide more entertaining content for you guys you know um, but Going back to the whole spiel that I started off with is, you know, you guys are amazing. You guys bring comfort and, and excitement to the community and make me want to continue doing this. Now, the fourth and final thing that I want to talk about is Mamo and I are going to be starting something here shortly. Mamo, did you want to step in over here really fast and kind of add in some two cents with me as, as we're... Okay. Um, so this is Mamo. Um, Mamo, a couple days ago I had come to you and I talked to you about the possibility of doing a podcast for a Dungeons & Dragons game. Yeah. Is this correct? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, what what were the the kind of stipulations that I had set for this this campaign? Uh, the campaign will be Dungeons and Dragons Fifth Edition. Now, uh, all the players are going to be in it. Well, that will be. It's going to be completely new. Um, now, I've played test. Mm -hmm. and 
to destroy the organization of betrayed. Right. Um, but the problem is, because he's died, he's a rebel. So meaning he's, he's, he, he can't die until he completes what he set up to do. But what we did to get a little more of a twist to go back from the Indies 345, that was it. That was the help, right? So for this, we tied a little bit more of a story in his mask for his helmet that he wears holds his soul. Yeah, I'm going to be having Unicycle Gaming come over tomorrow, um, sometime between 12 and 1, uh, more or less. And so basically, the, the whole concept about this is, if any of you have ever heard of Dungeons & Dragons, it is a fantasy uh, magic and sword slashing uh, RPG that basically you have paper that you generated a character sheet on, um, and then you have dice. You have uh, all the way up to D... 100 if you if that's your preference but it's a d20 game basically it's a d20 uh sided dice and what i'm planning on doing is i'm going to be doing one episode it's going to be a podcast and this future episode is going to be um it's it's going to be several hours long okay I'm, I'm not going to be breaking it up. If I do, I might turn it into multiple episodes, but it's going to be a podcast where basically we're going to be describing the adventure and the actions that we take to try and you know achieve greater successes for the story. I'm going to be running the game. Mamo's going to be a character in the game as well as multiple others. If you guys like it in the future, then we'll go ahead and try to make more of it. But right now, I just wanted to go ahead and try to do a one-off for the campaign. Um, well, it's not really a campaign, but it's 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 just a one-off of the game that I had designed, and I wanted to get other players to kind of enjoy the story that I had elaborated and. To, to basically scroll out this this adventure for people to listen to and to be able to enjoy. And so Mamo's going to be playing. Um, well, what is the what's the class? It's uh, taking the paladin. Taking the ultimate Okay. So, so if you if you put it into like an actual class perspective, like it's what? A, I'm an anti paladin. Okay, so he would be considered an anti paladin, um, corrupt paladin. or corrupt paladin. But you know, if you guys have any ideas for future content or future games or or anything of that sort, please let me know. Um, thank you, Mamo, for adding in some. You know information on it and hopefully you guys actually enjoy the content um you know and if you want to see mamo more on some of the episodes let me know and i'll try to see if i can drag him into a couple of games um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this episode today if you liked it please go ahead and hit that like button down below also if you haven't joined the fuzzy family yet go ahead and smack that paw we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, our fuzzy family.